Boeing has revealed a concept for more aerodynamic and fuel efficient wings. The lightweight and extremely thin wing concept is called the transonic truss braced wing, and it is being developed in a collaborative effort with NASA. The lightweight wings measure 170 feet from end to end, thus the truss, which supports the extended length. According to the company, the new design can fly at Mach 0.80, about a 13% improvement from previous concepts. Boeing says that the new design will also be able to fly higher than previous designs. The new changes resulted from extensive wind tunnel testing at the NASA Ames Research Center. NASA and Boeing have actually been working on the project as part of the Subsonic Ultra Green Aircraft Research, or SUGAR, program for the better part of a decade. The work hopes to significantly reduce noise and emissions in aircraft while improving performance. Identity Crisis Kia wants to know when its drivers are sad, and it wants the vehicle to be able to make autonomous changes to the cabin to improve the driver's condition. As showcased by the story of an animated sunfish trying to make his way through the fast-paced future, Kia demonstrated READ, real-time emotion adaptive driving. The system monitors specific biometrics like your breathing and heart rate. For example, when the sunfish becomes overwhelmed, poor guy, the car jumps into autopilot, kicks the seat back, and puts on a custom playlist for relaxing. You know, soothe that poor fish. Don't you suppose that they should have used like any other animal, like one with legs? As we have seen with other sensing systems, I think that it's a step in the right direction to monitor alertness or consciousness for that matter. I only get skeptical with when and how the software decides to take over the system. I mean, for example, my new car flashes a coffee cup at me if I drift over the lines a few times. I mean, hey, sometimes I'm just weaving to keep it interesting. I mean, you know what, I actually, now I see the point. Identity crisis. I grew up and live in Wisconsin, so I like to think that I recognize, appreciate, and have a good relationship with the Harley Davidson brand. I mean, at least once my father got over the whole fact that he had to trade his in for a car when I was born. Thanks, Dad. But then, I saw the lightweight concept electric bikes that Harley unveiled this week, and I thought that maybe, just maybe, my old friend needed to see someone. Like, work on a crisis of sorts. Granted, these are just concepts, and they're subject to change, but when Harley searched for ideas for a lightweight electric bike for the urban future, they came up with something sparse that looks like it was chopped together in a garage. I mean, that's not true. Harley's is shinier. Ah, it still looks like a good grease monkey's second pass at a homemade scooter. And really, that's all that they are, scooters or Vespa competitors. They're designed to be easy to ride with no clutch or shifting, and riders wouldn't need a motorcycle license to operate it. They also have battery packs. That way you can remove and easily carry them so you can charge it during your side hustles in the gig economy of the future. Or at least find an outlet in the breadline of the future. For the second unnamed concept, which was obviously more dirt bike inspired, Harley admits that it wanted to make off-road experiences accessible, as well as city driving. However, the company also says that it's built to be routine and rad. Identity crisis. No, I like my new bike because it's rad. Look at my rad hog. Hey, maybe the company actually listened to IEN reader Bill Newell, who in July 2018 pleaded, please include an electric dirt bike in your lineup. You did this, Bill! Do you like it? Well, comment below. Let us actually know what you think about it. All of these designs hope to help a slumping motorcycle industry by tapping into an electric motorcycle market, which is expected to grow by 56% by 2020. Finally, we actually saw a real bike that's more than four years in the making. Harley-Davidson has been working on Project Livewire since 2014, so the industry was eager to learn more about the electric bike. The first electric Harley Livewire will be capable of going zero to 60 in less than three and a half seconds with a 110 mile range. The only problem, it's gonna cost 30 grand. I can fit it in the car that I just bought for less. Actually only, only 29,799. Sorry, I just got a fact check. Yes, 20, 29,799. I'm David Manti, this is Engineering by Design.